Hi, I'm Eric Swanson. I'm the director of Dogwoods No Tankers campaign. I'm standing in Vancouver in front of the harbour because this morning an amazing thing happened. I and those who were there had the incredible honour of witnessing 61 individual nations from the Fraser watershed in BC all the way up north from the Stewart and Chaco rivers all the way down with no gaps to the Pacific Coast and Musqueam territory. They came together to announce a declaration using their own traditional laws and governance systems banning oil pipelines through their traditional territories. Our nation stand united as never before to protect these threats against the Fraser River and the salmon runs that we rely on for our livelihoods and culture. We will not put them at risk. The message is clear. Enbridge, go home. You're unwelcome. You're unwelcome intruders into the indigenous territories. Your project will only serve to jeopardize the un told waterways and ecosystems along the 1100 uh, kilometer route, not to mention the tanker traffic that it will bring along the coast. So we have a message for Pat Daniel, the CEO for Enbridge, is that um, we as Indigenous nations are uniting to oppose this uh, project. We will do what it takes to protect our lands, our salmon, our rivers, just to watch. I think it's incredibly important that this country understand the moment that we've arrived at in the role of Indigenous peoples, not only in this country but around the world, in standing up for the needs of their people, the needs of the environment, the needs of the fish, the air, the water, all living things in their respective territories. It was an amazing assertion of Aboriginal rights and title and the, the ability and the right of First Nations to make decisions over their territory. And this follows on the Coastal First Nations Declaration of, of earlier this year, on our municipalities, our mayors and councillors coming out in the fall saying no to Enbridge pipelines and tankers. It comes on the heels of some amazing progress in Ottawa. We just came back uh, from a delegation meeting with MPs and Senators and today in the House of Commons the entire day was taken up by debate on a legislative tanker ban. We feel very strongly that we're going to achieve a legislative tanker ban in the near future. Um, it was amazing to be here today to watch First Nations continue to take the lead on this. Uh, we need you to stay tuned um, because a lot's coming, coming, coming down the pipe and we're going to let you know how to stay involved.